All right, here we are. The track is clear. We're in the C7R. Pratt & Miller modified, heavily modified C7. Actually, I don't know if it has any resemblance other than visual uh, to the original vehicle. If you look inside, it's completely different than the C7. And this is a race car. And we are on a racetrack in a race car. I'm going to confess, I've made some setup modifications to the vehicle. Remember when I was in the Ferrari 488, I had the understeer and I complained about the understeer and I think I crashed due to the understeer or my own poor driving. Uh, the C7R has the understeer out of the box. However, it's a racing car. So I did a racing adjustment. Um, I'll put those briefly in the description of the video if I can figure out what I did while I was experimenting. Um, I don't think I have a clean lap in yet with this um, configuration, uh, but I do like where I'm going with it. So I'm going to try to um, get through here, push on it pretty well, and uh, make sure that I don't run into too many problems. If I do, I will start over and pretend it never happened. But here we are, um, really up through. I think we get real light. Yeah, wow. Get real light there. Coast through up in fifth gear. Uh, torque everywhere, power everywhere in this vehicle. We can even push sixth gear up here. We are 160 miles per hour. Do not try this in the C7. We are the C7R. <laughs> Whole different game um, where you've got a margin of error. It stays very flat on the track, especially the way that I have it set up right now. You can see me skipping a little bit through there. Um, it doesn't have unlimited traction, but it's very predictable. It stays flat. Um, the weight transfer and the center of gravity stay low and center. Ease off a little bit here. Slide a little bit through that corner. Down fourth, clickety click. Down to third gear, second through the chicane. Apex left, apex right. Out of the corner, on the gas, no problem. Hammer into the corner, hammer out of the corner. You can do it. You can apply generous amounts of throttle. You're gonna see me use the throttle like an on-off switch in this video. If I'm not off it, I'm on it. And it stays, the car chassis stays low, it's stable. Um, so you're gonna do things in this car that you can't in a passenger vehicle like the C7. C7, I made a video on that. I was all over the place. I survived the lap, but uh, I had to hang on and very actively control the dynamics, the center of gravity, the weight transfer, the suspension. Um, this C7R, you are going to point and shoot. Um, obviously, you're gonna have to go down second gear like I did there, but look at the throttle out of the corner. Just push it. The car knows what to do. You've got plenty of grip. You've got some downforce. You can do all the things that you need to do. Down to third gear here. Careful on this corner, out. You look at the throttle all the way on it. All the way on through the quick section here, ahead of the decreasing radius right-hander. That is my Achilles heel. You'll see me slow down more than I need to in a lot of these videos because I've crashed here so many times. And we're gonna go up. We should, we'll see if we'll touch sixth gear here. Bring it up through fifth. We're kind of running out of power on this section. Yep, that, back down to fifth. We tried sixth for a second. Slide through there. You can go a little faster there. I say that in every video. You can go a little faster there than I do. I just want to keep it on the track. We'll head towards the bank here. We'll bring it way down. We'll hold third. Could have gone down to second there. Which probably should have. But lots of power, lots of torque. Back up through third, fourth. Drop it in the banking. Pop it out of the banking. And keep it out of the banking. It stayed nicely composed there. I would have gone faster through the banking. Uh, but I was able just to limp it around and not lose too much time. Sections like this coming up are what this car is for. Fourth, we'll bring it holding fourth for a minute. Ah, here we go, down to third. 
this should be third and fourth gear. Click, click all through this rhythm section here. Keep it up and forward. Still down to third. Just have fun with this section, third and fourth gear. A lot more fun once I dialed up the understeer. Very neutral handling as real simple tweaks. I am no car setup tweaking expert. Um, I just basically know to either soften up the front or the back depending on what I want to do from a suspension and damping standpoint and then a little trial and error goes a long way. Take it through here, we'll get a little light right here. Real light, <laughs> bring it down. I want to go flying into the barrier there. Right there. Wrapping it up through this section, real hard through this section, real hard on the gas. I start easing, easing back here. You could actually go aggressive into this wide right hander, but then you've got to really aggressively stop. So I, a little bit lazy there, so that I don't end up in an emergency situation. On the banking, out of the banking, onto the grass, back onto the track. And we're gonna come through here almost a minute faster than I was in the C7. Pratt and Miller does a good job of building a race car here as opposed to the C7, which is a fast road car. 635, we'll come in under 640, just about almost to the second, a minute better than the C7. Um, C7R, fun car, be safe, have fun, tweak it. I'll put some of my settings in the description.